How's it going guys? My name is Richard Moglin and welcome to my final project for my IoT class. So um, overall I decided to make a quadcopter and you can see um, that I've got the Raspberry Pi as the brains of this. I've got an ultrasonic sensor that basically senses if there's anything um, in front of the drone. I've got four different Emacs um, quadcopter motors here that provide the lift. Um, and I've decided not to use props indoors because you can see um, I definitely did crash before. So right now we're just gonna use this piece of tape to kind of show the relative speed that the motors are going. Um, for the power supply, I've got this LiPo, which powers both the motors and also through the BAC from this ESC, um, I power the Raspberry Pi from that as well. The hardest part about this project was definitely the wiring. You can see it's a little disorganized right now. I I had two long wires and also two short wires, so I had to kind of improvise uh, with some connectors. Uh, but overall, I've got all the um, ESCs and, and then the motors um, connected in parallel from the LiPo right here. Um, and then I've got the um, wires from the sensor going to the Raspberry Pi as well. So uh, yeah, the wiring was definitely the most complicated part of this project, uh, but overall it turned out really well. And obviously in future prototypes, um, I wouldn't be using tape and I'd be soldering as well. Um, and you can see the duct tape down there too. So let's give a demonstration. So on my things board, what I've got plotted is um, overall the power switch, which basically decides uh, how fast the motors are gonna go. I've got a, um, a switch that either turns on the motors or turns them off. And I've got an LED indicator, which basically identifies whether the motors are live. Um, and then the data that I'm plotting is the, um, the distance from the um, ultrasonic sensor, the nearest object. So right now it's in between uh, 54 inches and 60, which is basically the length to my wall. And if I put my hand in front of it, you can see that's gonna drop down all the way to about two inches um, and it's pretty sensitive. So let's go ahead and turn on the motors. It's gonna start at kind of a lower speed of six. Um, that kind of ranges from 4.5 to 10 is max and four and a half duty cycle is the min. So let's turn them on. You can hear them all turn on and you can see the tape going. Um, and let's increase the speed. Speed is faster. Let's go to max. And now all the way back down to low. And I'll show you what that looks like. So this is faster. Max speed. And now back down to 5.5 duty cycle. And now killed. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you guys like my project.